Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the Byzantine Empire. The Grecentine Empire? Grisantium? Sure, whatever. Welcome back to the Purple Menace. We have been very nice to the world for many years. We've been nice to our neighbors. We've had plenty of allies. We've helped in some crisis. We've ignored some other crisis. We've helped our buddy Serbia become a nice beast. And we've started. Started. A little bit of reconquest of Byzantine glory here by taking Campania from Italy and, of course, half of Antolia from the Ottomans. But I feel like we must do more. I feel like being a fascist state, which is jingoist, that we should demand everything we can. We should burn the world before this game is over. And I think that's best accomplished by using our little jingoism event, event 18520, which gives our nation 10% more jingoism, which means we can add war goals. Now, if you've ever played this game enough where you go over the infamy limit, you get to a point where it's like, oh, I can beat everybody. That may be true, but you also cannot add any war demands because you run out of jingoism. You'll, it'll, be, it'll let you add a few, but then you'll reach a point where you can't add anymore, and it'll tell you you need at least some odd percent, usually 7%, to add any more goals. And using that event, 18520, allows you to add 10% more jingoism to your entire nation, so you can add another war goal. And I hate to do it. I really hate to do it. But I feel it's necessary. If we didn't have to do it, we wouldn't do it. Ah, oh, and I'm still trying to justify myself. You know what it is? I'm drinking. I'm drinking, and... I'm embarrassed that we have to use this because there's no real in-game way to get your jingoism up like on the fly. We're a fascist state, we're at war with you know some of the strongest powers in the world, and you run out of jingoism? Are you kidding me? Oh well, we've done jolly good, let's go home. It doesn't work that way. Uh-uh. You shouldn't just run out of jingoism if you're in the middle of a, a war where the world is at war with you. Nah. I'll stop ranting now. Anyway, welcome back, everybody, to the Ranting Shenra Show, where the ranting's free, but the show is not. Or is it? Yeah, the show's pretty free as well. Anyway, we left off last time after using the Jingoism event to allow us to add a war goal on the Netherlands. For some reason, we did not need to use the Jingoism event to add war goals on Germany. We added five war goals. No, we added six war goals on Germany. And didn't have to use a jingoism event once. Even though our jingoism had dropped to like 4%, it still let us add war goals. But with uh, the Netherlands, it refused to let us add war goals because of jingoism. It said we didn't have enough. So I don't know what's up with that. I don't know why it lets me add one for one war, but not one for the other. Maybe crisis wars are different. That could be it. Maybe in crisis wars, the jingoism doesn't matter. I don't know. I am not a genius. But I do know that uh, both of these wars are very handily ours. We're currently justifying another war on the Turks. We have some troops on their border. I should probably put some troops up here on this border as well, because I know Wallachia and Moldavia will come to the defense of their puppet master Turks. Fucking marionette, dude. Who else you allied to? Hungary. And who is friendly? Japan! Oh, interesting. Does Japan want a war? Because they do have 72 troops down here. What's your tech like, Japan? Pretty good. He's got 200 regiments with pretty good tech. Well then, have you built any more ships? Or do you still have 11 ships? Hmm. 13 ships. He's got 13 ships. Tell you what, Japan. If you don't join the war against me, I won't tell the world that you have 13 ships. He's only got so we're going to send our fleet of 54. By the way, this is simply our Asian fleet. It's not our main fleet. We have 151 ships in our main fleet, as you can see. This is just our East India flotilla. So we're going to go up here and be a little menacing to Japan. Oh shit, look at the rebels. What are they? Communists? What are they? Fascists. Hey, yeah, go ahead, Guangxi, go fascist. Go on, Guangxi. Go on. I won't tell nobody. Go fascist. <laughs> All right. Lagos has fallen. Great. Let's go ahead and rebuild our forts there. And you can go back to 
a sob, or whatever it's called, where you will police from there. Now, I wonder if Japan's going to join this. They are friendly, so they could join it with the status quo, but man, who knows? Whoa, don't crash on me, game. Whoa, that was close. Got the white screen and everything. The game faded out, and then it came right back. Okay, group up. Split in half. Get up there. And yeah, hunt rebels. Everyone hunt rebels. Just hunt rebels like crazy. Just in case China goes to war with us, we have a few hundred thousand guys over here to deal with it. And uh, let's put our ships menacingly around, around Japan. Let's put them in its capital. See what he has to say about that. I don't think we take attrition out here. We shouldn't. Look at all those dudes. But he has no boats. Where's your boats? Are your boats here in your capital? You're goddamn right they are. <laughs> he has 11 transports and 2 heavies. Are you fucking kidding me? So the only way off this island is through those boats. So all we have to do, and we're not taking attrition, all we have to do is blockade there, and it doesn't even matter if he joins the war. What's he going to do? Sit on his thumb and spin? <laughs> oh, that's fucking awesome. All right, so that'll be when the Ottoman War is ready to kick off. Surprisingly, we haven't been discovered yet, but whatever. So can we make another demand of the Netherlands? We currently have demanded acquire Atse and the Sunda Islands, which is 45 war score. He will take that. We are also going to add another demand to take Friesland. 52 war score. Very good. Beautiful. And that'll be about 100%. So when we piece him out, we'll take Friesland, which will give us this coastline up here. Beautiful. And that will look rather nice, along with these six states that we're taking from Germany. Oh man, fantastic. This is all just overwhelming. It's beautiful, isn't it? Going over the infamy limit. Not a single containment war. Because everyone who matters is already at war with us. Or, or at war uh, alongside us. Which is just as well. If they're in a crisis war, they cannot peace out. Russia, he's a great power, and he's in this war, but he can't peace out, so he can't do a containment war on us. Austria-Hungary, he's in this war, and he's a great power, but he can't peace out, so he can't declare a containment war on us. Britain's in this war, and he's a great power, but he can't peace out, so he can't declare a containment war on us. Same thing for Germany. That's a beautiful thing about this war. Nobody can declare a containment war on us. Except the USA or Japan, but they're not going to do that. Well, USA might. He's kind of a dick, and he does have the world's second largest military. Um, sure, more trade unions. Whatever, I don't care. All right, admin efficiency goes up. Good. Do we want some better upgrades for our ships? Maybe. Mm, supply range. I mean, it's like, what else are we going to do? Industry's done. Commerce is pretty much done. I don't want to get this one because it makes factories more expensive. And this just gives us prestige. It's useless. This is just prestige. Fucking useless. Yeah, I guess we'll get some Navy stuff. Organization, supply range. Let's go for the supply range. Sure. Shouldn't take long. How long do, how long do these texts take anyway? Uh, August, September, October. A month and six days. It takes five weeks to do this tech. 85% <laughs> literacy. Not half bad. Not half bad. And I fear that all of Germany's factories are shutting down because they're full sieged. Oh God, don't tell me. No. Yep, Saxony has already lost a whole lot of, he lost 120 industry strength already. Oh God, I'm tempted just to piece him out now. But I don't have a diplomat, oh God. Oh, <laughs> Austria-Hungary wants Bayern. You're not getting it. This war isn't about you, Austria-Hungary. Ah, the Netherlands wants to give me Sunda Islands, Atse, Friesland, and Humiliatum. Is that what we've demanded? Sunda Islands, Atse, Friesland, and Humiliate. You got it, Netherlands. Beautiful. Look at that. Let's go ahead and start uh, upgrading this stuff. Really? He only had a level 1 naval base? Hmm. wonder why he was so cheap over there. Alright, and the Sunda Islands. Fantastic. That includes Bali. Lombok, Sumbawa, Sumba, Flores, Kaopeng, Alor, and Roti. By all means, upgrade them. Great. Look at that. Beautiful Indonesia. Looks, looks fantastic. 
We also took Atse, which has a nice level 5 naval base up here. Beautiful. Atse has this weird province of Medan, which despite having a very large coastline, has no port at all. Even Ipo has a port. Even Penang has a port. Alosatar has a port. Phuket has a port. Every naval province in the game has a port, except Medan. And I don't know why. I think it's just bugged. Or they forgot about it. <laughs> Even Christmas Island has a port. A level 6 port, that. <laughs> Beautiful. So we're, we're at peace with the Netherlands. We should probably get this army out of there. Uh, let's do that. Pick them up. <laughs> Persia's got rebels. Oh, come on, Persia. Pull yourself together. And Spain's got rebels. I guess I don't really care what happens. Doesn't matter that much. Okay, Britain. You really want out of this war, Britain? Because if we do, we might let the wolves in. But then again, if we don't, we're going to lose even more industry score. Oh god, Saxon is falling off the map. Saxon has lost another 100 industry score. He's down to 164. He was at 380. Shit. Do I care about industry? A little bit. You know what? We'll piece you out. We'll piece you out. Ost Hanover, Hanover, Westphalen, Hessen, Magdeburg, Saxony. Saxony, Magdeburg, Hessen, Westphalen, Hanover, Ost Hanover. One, two, three, four, five, six. You got it. Look at that beautiful territory. Beautiful. Upgrade that shit. Upgrade that shit. So now we run the risk of containment wars from Russia, from Austria, from anyone, really. Bring it, bring it on while I belch. Bring it on. Let's reopen all the factories. And apparently Niger can be made into a state. What the fuck? We're at peace. Why are we at peace? <laughs> well, we don't have our CB yet. That's why we're at peace. Look at that beautiful land. And it's so unimpressive compared to how much land there still is left in Europe. But it's so satisfying looking at Germany cut in twain like this. He's got East Germany and West Germany. <laughs> oh, goodness. And now everyone's going to break their alliances with us. Go ahead. Go on. Laugh it up. Break your alliances. Do what you will. Oh. Britannia has fallen. Italy is now a great power. Interesting. No longer Britain. Britain is now ranked 20. <laughs> Didn't expect that, honestly, but there it is. Okay, well, we almost have our CB. One more month. All right. France broke their alliance. Big deal. Uh-oh, Ireland's got rebels. Poor Ireland. How's Persia doing? Because that looked like a lot of rebels. Does Persia have an army? They do. Ah, here they are. They're coming home. Okay, they're coming. Don't worry about it. They're, they got their army coming home. It'll be fine. Guangxi broke their alliance with us. Well, I must admit that's going to be bad for China. I mean, that's going to be bad for Guangxi because I can't protect them from China if they break their alliance. But, you know, they're kind of forced to because of my infamy. We're at 62 infamy. Oh my goodness. Also, we need to move our clerk encouragement from Macedonia to where? Looks like Saxony gets the clerks. All right, Saxony. Yeah, get some clerks. Give me that CV. That. Ah, an end to Ottoman imperialism. Why should the Ottoman Empire get all the prime colonial land? It's downright unfair. That's what it is. They probably aren't even properly exploit... I mean, educating the, the native population. Something must be done. We deserve our place in the sun. Good call. 25% <laughs> faster causes Billy. People breaking alliances, whatever. Uh, just get some more whatever. CB? 14 days. Two weeks. It's too long. Oh, we need to remove our guy from Attica. And go where? 
Northwest England, Midlands, and Westphalen. Bingo. All right. Loving this land up here. It's beautiful. If only we could link it up. But there's not a whole lot of time left in the game. Come on. Give me the CB. I realize we're on speed three, but bear with me. I've been drinking. Oh, local factories employment are at 100%, so the clerk's not doing anything. How about clergy? There you go. Go to the clergy. Smarter people is good. There we go. So we need to declare for place in the sun, which is obviously not a state. It's only for protectorates. Unfortunately, he has turned both of these into states, so they don't count. So instead, we will declare for Lebanon? Syria? Syria's got some okay pop. Nah. I don't care about pop. Let's declare war for Lebanon. You're going down, Ottomans. You had your time, your place in the sun. Now it's our turn to shine. Fucking Ottomans. They're a goddamn menace is what they are. Yeah, yeah, break your alliances. I don't care. Don't care. Sort of care. Not really care. As long as we continue to press the attack, I'm okay. All right, we have another army. You know what? You can go siege the target. Get us some ticking war score. Why not? Oh, National Banking Act. What is this? Prestige at least 1.0. Loans are cheaper, but we also get less tax. No. How stupid is that? I don't take loans. And Hungary joined against us. Oh, for fuck's sake, Hungary. Hungary, what is your problem? Okay, well, his capital will fall. That's nice. And we should start fabricating on Italy before he gets any strong allies. Placing the sun is faster. Hmm. I don't think placing the sun is going to be my cup of tea, but it is a faster CB. Um, I don't really want any of his place in the sun land, though. That's the problem. Let's just go for humiliate. 121 days. Is that the fastest thing? Yeah. Okay. Ah, we'll have to ferry some troops over, won't we? Fair enough. Hmm. Where to ferry? Where to ferry? Oh, and the Ottomans are sieging me in, in, in Africa. Well, I can handle that. You little dick nozzle. I don't think he even knows he's a dick nozzle. He was probably born a dick nozzle. Hmm. Where can I get troops for Italy? That's their entire army, isn't it? They have 54 regiments, which would be... No, that would be 162,000 troops. So where's the other 50-some-odd thousand? I don't know. But we definitely need to find them. Well, let's take these guys. They're not doing anything important. Oh, we're under attack in Customona. Oh no. <laughs> oh no! Okay, we destroyed the army of Wallachia. Great. And his capital has fallen. Beautiful. Onward. Oh, look, he has an army. How quaint. Uh, 
And this is what I was talking about. I mean, if we're gonna just push people around, we might as well have jingoism to at least make demands while we're- Oh, look, we're number one in industry. We might as well at least have jingoism so we can make demands of the people that we're pushing around. Otherwise, there's no point to pushing them around. We should see if we can't get our relations back up with Germany, but I guess it doesn't matter. We have a truce until the end of the game. <laughs> oh, he already wants to give me Lebanon. Sorry. Lebanon was last week's peace offer. Now it's going to cost you more. Poor bastard. Wait, what the hell finished sieging? Am I blind? Nothing finished sieging. I'm an, I, I'm an idiot. And nobody's really influencing anything important. And it looks like Japan has said fuck it, and Japan's not going to bother. Japan is friendly with the Ottomans, so he could come in at any time and try to get this war over with. But, oh, that's right, I never picked my troops up. Here I was planning on blockading Japan, but... Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, Hungary has engaged us in Targo Beast. I'll meet you there. Sounds like fun. I'm actually defending for once. What do the numbers look like? I imagine we're winning rather well, but I would also like to find out what the numbers are. Right, that one's fine. Let's see if we can find a pop-up. Oh, we're killing them. I love it. What the hell was I doing? Besides drinking. And that's that's part of my problem. Is that my brain don't follow things too good when I'd be drinking. Ah, good. Good. Okay, good. Yes. There we go. Much better. I was running away to Urfa. Alright, I can follow you to Urfa. How's that sound? Gabes. Gabes? That's in Tunisia. Oh, he died. <laughs> How sad. He died. He died. Really, it's okay. What do you know? We're winning against the Hungarian army. Big surprise. Can you just take Lebanon and go away? No. You shouldn't have defended your lands. I'm sorry I defended my lands. You don't sound sorry. <laughs> All right, so let's go dump these clowns in China. The shirt right there. Oh, look, we got discovered. 2.2 .2 infamy. <laughs> wow. 2.2 .2 infamy. And Tripoli fell. Great. Move on. You know what? We're actually going to split in half. I don't think we need everything for this ship. And we're going to be taking an ass load of attrition if we actually just wander in. Okay, that looks better. Won the Battle of Yasi, won the Siege of Jaffa. Move on. And Cryova. Okay, looks good. Onward. Kill everything. More tractors means more production? Pretty sure. Oh, goody. Seeds them all. How much war score was this demand anyway? 
Oh, it's like 2% war score. Look at that. It's worth like nothing. That means we might be able to take a lot more land. It's possible. I would like that. Jerusalem we go. Okay, they're running away. Uh, follow him and then come back. Kill him and then go there. Oh look, they want peace. That's adorable. Not gonna happen. Oh, so fucking beautiful. I like that border. Except for this little finger down here, but... Looks nice. Oh, we got Heligoland. We got Heligoland. <laughs> I like how that's an actual territory. Why not? Let's lower taxes by 10% across the board. Still making good money. Upgrade any factories that need it. Sieges look good. Battle looks good. Kill him. Go there. Put the speed up. I think we're all right. All right. Bucharest has fallen. And our ships have arrived. Well, we could go blockade Japan, but pretty sure he's not going to do anything. I mean, we'll blockade him anyway, just in case he gets any ideas. He and his 14 ships can do whatever the fuck he wants. While we've got 50 dreadnoughts and 100 cruisers sitting outside, I don't think he's going to touch us. Damascus. Now we're getting to the meat of it. Okay, I mean, we're pretty much done here, but we'll press on anyway, because fuck it. Uh, why don't you guys come over here? We need to start ferrying troops over to Italy. Where's my navy? Where did you guys go? There you are. Right. You guys. On the boat. To Italy. Oh, I think he has some troops in uh, Sardinia. Pretty sure that's where his army was. I was wondering where, his, where the rest of his troops were. I think they're in Sardinia. Let's see when our navy passes. Oh, hold on. Damascus fell. God, these, these places just fall so quickly. They have no defense running away, are you? Good. I approve. Beersheba. Alright, so let's start making some extra demands here. How much war score are we talking? Okay, oh, it's only 10 war score. And we can't add... Okay, well, here's our Jingo again. Again, it's event 18520, and it's the bottom option. You get 10% more Jingo across your whole nation, and it's only used to add war goals. Elsewise, you can't. So if we wanted Dobrugia, 24 war score. What about Tripoli? 35 war score for Tripoli. Costamonu? 44 war score for Costamonu. Are you kidding me? Wow, these are so expensive. 54 for Baghdad. Wow. 57 for cars. 67 for Palestine. I can't believe how expensive these are. What about the place in the sun? Syria. Okay, 10. Okay, so if we go for... Uh, if we go for... Not colonies. Protectorates. Then they're cheaper. 
but I don't know if that's a good idea. I think we should just go balls deep. Uh, let's go ahead and get Dobrigia. That's this chunk of land right here. So we'll go. We'll get that. And I would like to get Tripoli and Libya. And I would be satisfied with just that. Dobrigia, Tripoli, and Libya. I don't think we can get all that for a hundred war score, but we'll try. We will fucking try. All right, Navy, hurry up. I want to see what's on this island here. Oh man, these sieges are so fast. Yes, yes, Serbia broke their alliance. I'm at 75 infamy. Of course they broke their alliance. I can't imagine they would stick around with someone as infamous as myself. Unless there was good money involved, then maybe. Oh, India has collapsed again. So he tried to westernize. He failed. Alright, here we go. Troops? Nope, no troops. Okay. So I don't know where his army is then. I was wrong. That's alright. I've been wrong before. Alright, drop him off. And pick up some more morons. Wow, he's so willing just to give me whatever the fuck I want. What if we want... Valachia? Oh, I can't. Really? I can't add Valachia? Interesting. Uh, oh, release Puppet. 30 war score. That's a little expensive, don't you think? Damn. Okay, well, what's our demand so far? 34. That's not that bad. What if we want L Libya? 25. And Tripoli? 34. Okay. I think we can fit all that. Yeah. That's what she said. Alright. Excellent. Okay. So we're going to take this land. That'll clean up that scar on our face here. Closing in on 100% war score. We actually already have 100% war score. So, I'm going to pull my troops back because there's no point. On the boat you go to Italy. Yes. So we can't take these lands directly. We have to make him release his puppet first. That sucks. Ah, whatever. I guess we could make a demand of Hungary. Hungary is three states, which I think is way too large. I think he has to be less than three. He has, no, he has to be an he has to be an uncivilized nation to completely annex him. Damn it! We can't do established protector. We might be able to do conquest, but I think conquest only applies if it's one state. I'm not quite sure. We can take a look. We do have a diplomat. What's available? Yeah, Conquest is not available. So, I guess I don't care. I could make him a puppet. Uh, is that worth my time? Do I really want a puppet hungry? I think the answer is no. Let's focus on Italy instead. So, 
current peace deal is worth 76. Add Livia, 25. That should fit perfectly. Let's see if he offers us Libya. He ought to. Ah, oh, we can click a thing too. Okay. Um. I don't think we need to worry about that. I think all this stuff is okay. We've reformed as much as we're going to. And interestingly, he has not offered us anything. Maybe he won't take that deal? Maybe he will and he's just shy. Possible. There we go. Lebanon, Dobruja, Tripoli. Oh, but not Libya. No. I want Libya. Why are you not willing to give me Libya? Hmm. Anyway, we're going to call this an episode here. Thanks for joining me, guys. Sorry this dragged on for so long. 36 minutes. Wow. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Next up is War with Italy. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. He's two texts behind us. Hee <laughs> hee.